Good morning, everybody, and this is your Dow Jones day trade setups for today. So um, this is probably of three indexes I trade. It's probably the one that has got the the most structure to it at the moment. Uh, we did have a pin bar here just hanging in the middle of no. Well, it wasn't really the middle of nowhere. We it was off um, this swing low here, and you could argue it's also off that swing low there. You can see the close of it. So if I just put both those levels in, so there's the low, there's the low. You know, that was fairly strong um, pin bar off that structure, but then we were followed up with a an engulfing bar. Um, at the moment, we've gapped down. So, you know, after hours price action, not really too stressed about that, but we're close to the trend line. And then we still have this bit of structure here at 32323 to pay attention to. But I think this is the, the critical as, aspect at the moment. So we've got a, a grouping, we've got a crossover, we're dropping below the 80. Now we could, you know, in period of eight, eight hours, 16 hours, basically uh, sort of have one stay at the top, the other one drop the bottom. So very possible. Uh, move has been up. So you can see strong move up, consolidation, strong move up. Is this just a retracement for looking for support for a bounce up? And that's kind of my view here. So we need to get to some form of structure. Look at the oscillators on the three hour, grouping to the downside quite nicely. Uh, you can see we had a pin bar here off this area as well. This must have caught out a lot of people. You see the pin bar off structure, entry on the top, stop below, and then you know stops would have been triggered already. So, so this is, to me, looking like just a pullback in a bull trend. So uh, we're coming up to diagonal support as well. So this is our line in the sand. This is 32363. Your stop is below this pin bar here. Let's just get to the eight hour, I'll say to the one hour, because that's what we're really looking for. A um, bit of diversions brewing here. You can see price dropping lower, oscillators not. Uh, we're not quite at this level, and I'm just going to fine-tune this level for the 8 hour, because there it is there. And then I need to add another one, so let's just bring this one down. Let's do that. So what we're looking for is, first price is going to be 32.358. Price can get down here, find some support. There's a good probability that we would be moving to the upside. Uh, there is also opportunity at 32,300 and at 32,220. So somewhere in that area would be a fairly decent area to be looking for opportunities to buy. Bear in mind that that is going to be a three hour trade because that is the structure that's bringing on the three hour. If you look at the one hour, and you get too tied up with a one hour where basically you're going to be seeing breaks of moving averages and you're also going to see a crossover the moving average. So bear that in mind. That's going to be a three hour trade. So your position size is going to be relatively small. If you're taking a trade off here, uh, you're looking at a 400 point stop loss because your stop loss is going to be below the previous swing low here. So that's kind of um, the one side of the coin. The other side of the coin is that this could be a head and shoulders. So that's a shoulder. There's a head, there's a shoulder, and we're at the neckline and we're testing the neckline. So you know, if you're rejecting this area, good possibility for a move down. But I think this trend line here, so this zone here is what uh, you would need to break. I'd need to break, come back, reject this area, and I would want a rejection of 32,358 before looking for shorts. So that's kind of the view that I've got on this at the moment. And uh, we do have some noise coming through later with the... Uh, the jobs number, or non-farm payrolls number, should we say, jobs number on Thursday, non-farm payrolls on Friday. And if uh, you look at the 15 minute, we've got a crossover. So 15 minute is indicating downward trend, just that we've got way too much support here for me to chase this. Uh, I suppose if you're going to do it this way. Okay, 100 point stop loss for a 100 point gain. That's, that's not worth it. Oh, that's kind of my view at the moment. Uh, you know, the higher time frames is indicating potential move to the upside. Lower time frames is looking like uh, a continuation to the downside. I wouldn't be too surprised to see a continuation, at least to come and find support at 32,358. Uh, and then 
the bottom side of that would be 32,300. So somewhere in this area with this diagonal support to see price come back uh, would be a pretty interesting area to, to sort of uh, put a small long in because if you look at the higher time frames, you know, that's pretty strong support there as well with the 155. So, you know, small position there, wide stop, 400 point stop loss, and then see what it gives you. Uh, that's kind of my view at the moment on this. I think of, of, of the three indexes, this is probably looking like the best setup right now uh, for a continuation to the upside. But bear in mind, if it does start dropping below these three levels I've given you and come back and, and test them and then starts rolling, that is a fairly strong sign that this trend is broken and we're looking for a new trend to the downside. So that's kind of my view today. Hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.